Welcome once again to the Moji Math and Science. I have this question. If tan x is equal to root 3, for x is between 0 and 90 degrees, find cos squared x minus sine x, everything over sine squared x plus cos x. I believe this question will help us understand how to use Sokatoa to solve right angles triangles better. If this is your first time of meeting our channel, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll be sure to be notified anytime we create lessons as this. Now the question says that if tan x, if tan x, if tan of x is equal to root 3. Now if tan x is equal to root 3, it's the same thing as saying that tan x is equal to root 3 over 1. Now if tan x is equal to root 3 over 1. Now what is x? But we have to solve for cos squared x minus sine x over sine squared x plus cos x. So we'll be interested in looking for cos x and also in looking for sine x. Then one thing must come to my mind and that is our socatoa. Your socatoa must come to your mind. Socatoa. Now let's define socatoa. Let's define it properly. That is socatoa says that the value of my sine, my sine x, will be equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Also, my cos x, my cos x will be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. And finally, Sokatoa says that my tan x, my tan of x will be equal to opposite over adjacent. Bearing this in mind, we can now begin to define cos squared x and sine x. Let's draw the right angled triangle. I think that's the first thing we should do now. Now, if I have my right angle triangle this way, if my angle x is here, the opposite of x, this will be the opposite. And if tan x is equal to, if tan x is equal to opposite over adjacent, and it's the same thing as root 3 over 1. That means my opposite, the opposite to x, here's root 3, and the adjacent to x is 1, and this is the adjacent, this side is adjacent, and that is what? 1. Now, what is the hypotenuse of this triangle? We can get the hypotenuse of this triangle using our popular Pythagoras theorem. If we, our Pythagoras theorem says the square of the longest side, let's call this side C, the square of our longest side, which we've called C, C squared, will be equal to root 3, all squared, plus 1 squared. So that C squared will be equal to root 3 squared, that's 3, plus 1, that's equal to what? 4. So to find for C, C will be equal to the square root of what? 4. We'll take the square root of both sides, which is equal to 2. So that C is equal to 2. Now, if C is equal to 2, then I can now define my sine and my cosine. Remember that our sine is opposite over what? Hypotenuse. So the sine of x from this place will be equal to root 3, which is the opposite, over the hypotenuse, which is 2. And also the cos of x will be equal to the adjacent, which is 1, over 2. Now we can now find... We can now solve for the cos squared of x, cos squared of x minus sine x all over the sine squared of x plus cos x. Now we've, we've defined sine squared, the cos squared x to be half, 1 over 2, all squared in this case, minus root 3 over 2 all over sine squared x, sine, sine is root 3 over 2, root 3 over 2, all squared, plus half cos x. Now, root 1 over 2 all squared here, that's the same thing as 1 over 4. Let me come down here. That's the same thing as equals to 1 all over 4 minus root 3 over 2, all over Root 3 over 2 squared, that's 3. Root 3 times root 3 is what? Is 3. Over 2, sorry. Plus 
half. No, this two, two under here is also squared. That's three over what? Four. So that this becomes one over four. The LCM here will be four. Four in four is one times one is one minus two in four. That's two times root three. That's two root three over four again. That's the LCM. Four in four again is one times three. That's three. Here is four. Two in four, that's two, times one, that's two. So I should have one minus two root three over four, everything over five over four. Now that should sum up to one minus two root three over five. With this, I know you, you should have a good understanding now of how to use sine 